All right, so welcome back. Uh, for me personally, only like 30 seconds has passed, but for you watching, a good day is gonna go by since you see this video. But my last video, I opened up this half of the booster box. If you did not see it, I'm gonna tag it up here, go check it out. I got some pretty crazy cards, which are actually sitting right there. Um, but we're gonna open up the second half of this booster box and see if we can't even get better cards. Honestly, opening up opening up Pokemon cards is just, it's really fun. It's it's amazing just how fun it can actually be. Oh hey, would you look at that? So my last video, we got a black border. And uh he started off that video really strong. Um, so maybe we'll start this video off strong again. Who knows? But opening up Pokemon cards is really fun. I'm actually kind of ashamed that I didn't get a chance to, you know, get earlier sets of the Sword and Shield era. Because some of those sets now are just really expensive. Um, but I would love to get my hands on... Uh, you know, one of the first booster boxes that came out and try to finish those sets off, but I just don't think that's going to happen. The reverse Hollow Dawn fan, which I don't think I have. Oh, look at that! A holographic Articuno. I know the hollows really aren't... Uh, like, crazy chase cards or anything like that, but there's just something about a original legendary bird being holographic that just you know the level of nostalgia from it is what makes it special to me just because i i i had i wish i i wish i kept them but back when the pokemon uh pokemon cards were crazy expensive and just like i don't want to say overvalued but just really hyped up to the point where people were spending crazy amounts of money on vintage cards. I I ended up selling all of my vintage cards to a buddy of mine who owns a who owns a local card shop around here. I mean, I had some really good cards. I had a shining Charizard. I had a shining Tyranitar. I had a couple crystal cards from um, was it was it Ruby and Sapphire? Was it one of those? I think it was one of those sets. I had all of the original starters, Charizard, Blastoise, Venusaur. I mean, I had so many, and I even thought to myself, hey, let's start a YouTube channel, and, you know, Pokemon related, and I can showcase my vintage cards, but, uh, just didn't do it. A non-holographic Amoongus, and a reverse, uh, Fanfy. Hey, would you look at that? Got two reverses. Completed that um, evolutionary chain with two reverse hollows. But, so unfortunately I don't have any of those, I, I don't have any of those cards anymore. Um, they are gone. They weren't in like the craziest condition. Uh, I did keep them in a binder, but as, as time went on, you know, the binder was shifted around. It was just thrown in a box. Um, so it, it, none of the cards were in crazy condition, but they weren't terrible. But now I kind of, I kind of miss them because, you know, uh, unless you have thousands of dollars to spend on a vintage booster box, you're never going to acquire those. So that holographic Articuno is actually really cool for me. Hey, a reverse hollow Del Fox. Oh, we got a double hitter. <laughs> hey, would you look at that? Reverse hollow and non hollow. There you go. So far, the second part of this, the second half of this booster box isn't. It's not terrible. Um, hey, here's a black border. So maybe we'll get something. Maybe we'll get. I don't know, I don't know. Like I said in my last video, I don't know how any of that works. You know, 
I remember I, I watched a video um, from Mystic7. He basically made a custom god box of every single pack, and he even explains in that video, like, it was a process trying to figure out what cards were, what packs were, like, guaranteed a hollow or more. And it's like, it's just really hard. You can't just simply weigh them anymore. But I do see something shiny in the back there. And shiny cardboard, just like any Pokemon collector, makes me happy. A reverse hollow more Peko. Yeah. No. Oh, would you look at that? It's a, um, wow. This is a full art. I'm pretty sure this is considered a full art. Um, full art trainer card. That's really cool. I think that's the first one in this set that I've pulled. Oh yeah, that was a, that was another, um, that was another, I guess it's not vintage. It's not a vintage card, but back when they remade the, back when they remade some of the original cards for the X and Y evolution set, I did pull, um, I don't think it was the Rainbow Rare, but it was the Full Art Misty card, and I think I had the Full Art Brock card. Even though they're only trainer cards, that, um, just the, just the Full Art makes them really cool, and I think they have a little bit of texture to the card, so it just makes it different. But, and there I go again, just, uh, you know. Hey, Relicant, I don't think I have one of those. So we got a Reverse Hollow, Low Punny, and I don't think I have him. And then we have a Holographic uh, Terrakion, and I, I do have him, that's a duplicate. So, unfortunately, those things happen. I wish every pack of cards would at least give me something I don't have. And I guess technically it's true, you know, even if it's just a, a common or uncommon, but, um, I am kind of nervous to figure out how much money I'm going to have to spend on this set to actually complete <laughs> the entire set. I have a second booster box that I am eager to open, so, you know. I've got, I've cleared out a lot of the really rare cards. Just, you know, I don't have a single gold card. I don't have a single um, full art Pokemon card. Universe Hollow Durant. And a non holographic Zorora. I'll be honest, I'm not very familiar with him. Um, I don't know if he's legendary or not. He looks like he could be a legendary Pokemon. That's the only reason why I bring it up. But here, we're gonna actually, these things are falling over. So we're gonna set those there. We're gonna move that back there. But yeah, as I was saying, I have another booster box of Silver Tempest. Unfortunately, that's, that's my last one. So I'm gonna have to buy more. Not that that's a problem. I'm, I'm okay buying more. It's just I would really love to pull that Lugia card. My sister got two Lugia cards out of a single booster box. And I haven't pulled one. Oh, I, I, I showed off a little bit of it, so let's just keep... Let's just keep going. There we go. A trainer gallery, my Lodic. And there's something behind it. Chestnut V. Neither of these cards I have. That's really cool. I think my sister pulled this one. Those those are cool. Those are really cool cards. I do really like the trainer gallery cards. They just give um, they just give a little bit more a little bit more detail to the Pokemon. You know, instead of just having the Pokemon there and it being holographic, there's just there's just more. There's more artwork and detail. 
makes the makes the makes the card feel more alive when you're when you're looking at it. Because unfortunately, I do not. Well, not unfortunately. It's just I don't play the card game. So for me, these are just pure collection. This is just for pure collecting purposes. That is it. And I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. But at the end of the day, I am spending hundreds of dollars on booster boxes. And I'm just going to look at these cards. <laughs> like, that's all, that's all they provide for me. Other than, you know, the excitement and the moment of opening them up. Hey, a Radiant Alakazam. That's really cool. I think my sister pulled this card. I love them. I like the Radiant cards. They're really cool. Then we have a non-holographic card of war, which I already have. The Radiant cards replaced the, uh, the original shiny cards. So I don't, I don't know. I mean, what is that? Is that part of the card? No, that was just dirt. Um, you know, the original shiny cards just, you know, they were just different. I don't really know why they changed it from shiny to radiant, but still, it's, the radiant cards are still really cool. There's no, you know, I guess the Pokemon company just wants to keep things fresh for, you know, all the new, um, yeah, all the new fans of Pokemon, because I am a bit older. I was, you know, there in the beginning, and obviously, you know, new people, as they get older, they get into Pokemon, and so yeah, they just want to change things up. A Reverse Hollow Whelmer, and then a non-holographic Talonflame. I do not have him. So there you go, another card to my collection. Let's help me fill it out. Still no Lugia. Still no Lugia. Maybe we'll get a Lugia in this one. Huh. Hey, we got a black border, so actually, might be possible. Might be possible. I do not know. I did get the Ho Ho, though. Or at least one of the Ho Ho's. I think there's two in this set. I don't think my sister got any ho-ohs, so that's cool. You know, maybe she has the Lugia luck and I have the ho oh luck. And what is this? A uh, full art Gordy trainer card. Tra or, actually no, that says trainer gallery. I didn't see that on the other one that I pulled. Hey! <laughs> and there's the holographic Dragonite. So I got, uh, so there you go, at least, you know, so my sister has better luck pulling Lugias, and I clearly have better luck getting the Dragonites. That's, um, you yeah. know, we'll just have to put our sets together to actually complete it, I guess, because at this rate, I don't know if I'll ever pull a Lugia card. But, like I said, I got another booster box, 36 packs of pure possibility also 36 packs of pure disappointment because I guess anything's possible but I would love to just spend <laughs> I would love to just have infinite resources to just buy thousands of dollars worth of booster boxes sadly I have to ration my money so hopefully at the end of the uh Hopefully at the end of the month here, I'll be able to buy some more booster boxes. Hey, a reverse holo side card. So I got the non holo and I got a reverse holo. And then a non-holographic cobalium. There you go. I also have five booster boxes of Lost Origins that I still need to open. And that's a, you know, that's a set that I also have yet to complete, and it's like the longer I wait to open those boxes, um, 
the higher probability there is of you know those boxes just being more expensive to acquire because they're not being printed anymore so it's like <laughs> I have to I have to open them up I do I just you know not enough time in the day I guess to do all of that and then edit these videos hey a reverse leafy trainer card leafy camo poncho and then we have a non-holographic braviary. So, nothing crazy out of that pack. We have one, two, three, four, five, six packs left. Six packs of Pokemon cards. It's actually crazy to think about how popular Pokemon became in recent years, you know, with the uh, and when I say recent years, I mean, not I'm not talking like five years ago or anything like that, but I'm talking recent, you know, with the pandemic and all that type of stuff. Because um, I can go to my local gas station and buy Pokemon cards. I don't think I have ever seen Pokemon cards for sale in a gas station in my entire, my entire life. Hey, a reverse hollow stunfisk. And a non-holographic uh <laughs> Verizion. Or as a lot of people like to joke, Verizon Wireless. Um I wonder if they can be a hollow. Be just because the uh uh Terrakion is a hollow. So I wonder if Cobalion and uh Verizion can be a hollow. That's the other difficult part of actually completing, you know, Pokemon sets, is it's like, hey, this card can be a hollow, it can be a non-hollow, and it can be a reverse hollow. So there's three different variants that you gotta pull of just one Pokemon. On top of that, they've got all these secret rares that are, you know, seeded like one in every 50 packs or whatever. And, uh... This is crazy. And a reverse hollow Metagross. I do not have him. And then a non-holographic Noivern. That's like my third one of those. But he completes that evolutionary chain for me. So that's nice. Alright, you got four packs. I mean, technically three, now that I opened the fourth. <laughs> Once again, no Lugias, no gold cards, no rainbow cards. Maybe one of these packs will change that for us. I would at least like to get one Lugia card. That was another, um, that was another, yeah, what do you want to call it? vintage card I had. I had the Lugia. It wasn't first edition or anything, but I had it. A reverse hollow incineroar. Hey. Yes! There we go. We got the Lugia V. This is not the full art, but it is a Lugia card. And go figure. I said maybe this pack will help us with that Lugia fortune. Once again, ask and it will be given to you. And if it's not given to you, just keep on asking. So we got three more packs. How crazy would it be if each one of these packs had a Lugia card in it? Oh god. Black Border. That means there could be something crazy in here just based off of you know what I've what I've pulled in these last two videos. That Lugia, that Lugia card is sick. I keep staring at it. I think out of those two Pokemon, Lugia, Lugia and Ho-Oh, Lugia is my favorite. But brings back memories playing uh, Gold and Silver. A Reverse Hollow Lantern. And then Holographic Crobat. So the Crobat is a repeat. You know, we did get a Hollow. 
So once again, that black border, I don't want to call it a theory, because theories are basically proven hypotheses. Hypo hypothesi. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. Um, English language, even when you're even when you're born and raised saying it, it's still a, it's still complicated to figure out. But this is a white border, but we did pull, I think we pulled a radiant card out of a white border. So it's like there's still a possibility that there's something really good in this path. And I keep I keep looking at the cards over my phone, not through my phone. I apologize ahead of time if they're like, <laughs> if they're like down here <laughs> or up here, <laughs> but another reverse hollow in Santa Aurora and then a non-hollow Armaldo. So we did get two rares out of that. I don't think you're guaranteed two rares out of every pack. I honestly haven't been keeping track of that. Part of me wants to open up that second booster box already, but I'm not, I'm not going to have time tonight to do that. Alright, so this is the last pack. Can we end it on a good note? Spinda, Pikachu, Noibat, Takadamora. I don't think I have him in reverse, so that's cool. And then we have a non-holographic Arcanine, which I don't think I have this, and I don't know if it can even be a holographic. So, that completes that for me. So at least in terms of completing the set, it wasn't a bad pack. But that completes that entire booster box. Here are, here's a recap of just all of the cards we got out of this one booster box. We got we got an Arcanine V, a Jinx Trainer Gallery, a Reggie Lucky V Max, a Ho O V, Radiant Jirachi. Uh, well, you know this is just a regular Hollow, but a Flappy Trainer Gallery card. We got one of the. One of the best cards of the set, the Lugia V. Trainer Gallery card again, Gordy. Holographic Dragonite. Uh, Radiant Alakazam. Chestnut V. A Trainer Gallery Milotic. Uh, yeah, this isn't a Trainer Gallery card, this is just a... This is just a full art trainer card, I believe, is what I said before. And then we got Articuno Holographic. So that's that's really good. That's just out of one booster box, all of these cards. Um, I know the Holographic Trainer card probably isn't on everybody's list, but for me it's there for um, completing the set. But yeah, that's, that's honestly not bad. That, um, for the Elite Trainer, or not the Elite Trainer boxes, but the booster boxes. So I'm excited to open up the second booster box, but if you enjoyed watching this video, um, feel free to leave a like, and if you want to see more, feel free to subscribe. But thanks for watching. Catch you guys in the next one.